What up, people? This is Lisa, one half of Long Story Long Blog. And so what Jay and I decided to do is we decided to put together some clips, some video, just so that you could see not only who we are, but you could we could also give you some additional insight into our feelings about things. Um, just kind of, you know, show you who we are. This is me. I'm Lisa kicking it. I'm getting ready to do some homework. That's what I do. I'm a hustler. I worked all day, school all evening. I'm going to do some homework all night. We're going to get up the mall and do it all over again. And in the process, we are also working on the blog every day on social media, coming up with concepts for the podcast, coming up with ideas for the blog. That's what we do. And so what I wanted to talk about tonight was this week's subject for the blog. And the reason why is because I wanted to kind of give you some insight. You know, we post a blog every week. It's sort of like a he said, she said. So it's sort of like a Jay said, I said. You know, Lisa says, Jay says. And what we try to do is just pick a topic and both write on it. We try to not see each other's work as we're writing so that we're not biased. Um, and then, you know, we throw it up there for you to read. So this week's topic, it's Paris. And it's obvious that, you know, Paris has uh, just suffered this tragedy. It's horrible. Um, but I'm not qualified to speak to any of that foreign policy or Syria or ISIS or what should be done or what shouldn't be done or war or I'm just not qualified for it. I think we spend too much time validating our in ill-informed opinions. Not that every opinion is ill-informed, but I think many of them are. And I think at a time like this, what's important is to support the people who have gone through this situation, to keep them in your prayers, to keep them in your heart, and then allow them to move forward. You kind of got to support and move forward. It's sort of like a bandage. So as a world citizen, I think we should act as a bandage to prop and hold these people up and do what we can do to have them, to help them move forward. But then, like when you take the bandage off and, you know, let that wound get some air so it can heal and, you know, new skin grows, we have to allow them to do that. So for me, I picked this week's topic because what I find odd about the world um, is that, you know, this thing happens in your city. The situation, be it a natural disaster, you know, some kind of shooting, some kind of bomb, some horrible thing. And you are no longer your city known for the ocean, known for this lake, known for shopping. You are now forever like scarred by this atrocity that happens. And so I feel that hate is part of the human experience. It's unfortunate, but I think years of evolution has left us with hatred, upheaval, war. Those things I think are a part of the human experience. I think they happen. I think it's terrible. I think we can work towards changing it ending some of it, but I think where we stand now, I think it's part of the human experience. And so things will happen. It's unfortunate. It's all the way messed up. It's horrible. It's horrifying to think that one day you could be out, you know, having dinner with your girls and all of a sudden a mass shooter bursts into a restaurant or a movie theater or, you know, you're at work and your child is, you know, shot in school or the mall is or some building blows up or I, I think it's a terrible thing to have to live with. And it's unfortunate that in the society that we live in, we live with it. With that said, I think that another part of the human spirit, the more important, the stronger part of the human spirit is our resiliency and our ability to kind of pick ourselves up and move forward. And I think that when we label these places, these events, and make these events the marker now for these places, for these cities, for these people, I think... First of all, we make the event more significant when at the end of the day, this is some crazy people who have some hatred going on with them that is horrible. They're horrible people and this should not be of significance. What's significant is the lives that's lost and, and memorializing them. What's significant is the people left picking themselves up and moving forward. You go back to work, you go back to school, you go back to your family and you keep on pushing forward because you survived it. And I think that's part of the human experience. So what I wanted to write a bit of in my own sort of, you know, American, idealistic, untraveled, uncultured, not well-read way is 
what I know about Paris and you know I have never tried I'm embarrassed to say I've never traveled out of the country I'm working on that though um but I there's these places that I kind of pine to go to and Paris is one of them so uh what I did was I put together a list of my favorite things about Paris I think that when Paris picks itself up and moves forward, we should let them. We should give them back their city. We shouldn't scar them with this event. We shouldn't have it hanging over their heads. We shouldn't want to keep making them relive it, keep making them see it, keep making them deal with it. It's being addressed on the level that it needs to be addressed, I'm sure. People who are in position to do things are doing things, I'm sure. They will get that worked out. It will be worked out. But for the citizens, the average person like me, who needs to go back to work, who wants to go back to school, who wants to go back and have dinner again this, this Friday, who wants to go to a movie theater, who wants to go to a concert. For those people, we need to give them back their city. We need to give them back their city and allow them to move forward. So what I have decided, and this is from a person who's from a city who has had a noted situation happen. I'm from Baltimore, born and raised. I love my city. It's a great little town. We got a lot of fly things going on in the city. It's the city that made me and I'm fly. So, you know, the city got to be fly. And uh, I'm not from the city of the riots. You know, I'm from Baltimore, Charm City, home of the Ravens, home of the Oreos. Place to get the best crab cakes on the planet. If you don't know, you better find out. I'm trying to tell you. I am not from the home of the wire. I am not from the home with one of the highest murder rates. I am from this city right here. This I'm from this city where I can tell you where to get the best fried chicken. You know I'm, I'm from the city where my granddad is buried. Where my daughter was born. That's the city that I'm from. So, I want to the same for Paris. So this week's topic, what I did, Jay did the same thing. You know, we wrote about what we know about Paris and what we love, what I hope to see one day in person. So that's what that's about. If you want to know more about my nonsense, follow me on Instagram. Look, let me show you. I made you sign so that it would be clear. My name is Lisa. Here it is. L-E-A-S-A. -A. Want to find me? You got to first know how to spell my name. I know. Wrote it down. My mama was smoking some really good drugs when she had me. I was smoking, injecting, drinking. It was pumping into her. I don't know. Lisa, come on now, mama. What is that? She sounded it out. That's what she did. She sounded it out. Look at that. Look at that. But that's my name. So if you want to find me on Instagram, here it is. Lisa underscore long story long. Follow me on Instagram. Also, you can find me at Lisa on Facebook. Facebook is where I do most of my dirt. I got to be honest with you. I'm trying to get into that Instagram model thing. I'm active on there. I'm there all the time. If you inbox me or whatever, you definitely will. I will definitely hit you back. I'm definitely in the building. But, you know, I'm kind of in the corner chilling. I got to be honest with you. It is what it is. The most important thing, more so than my Instagram page and even my Facebook, if that's possible, is the website. It's official, people www that's those w's j is talking about long story long the blog.com our podcasts are there the blogs are there we're there all the time you can email us there leave us feedback tell jay you want to see more of all that light-skinned sexiness i will make sure it happens for you ladies i'm trying to tell you get at your boy jay y'all don't know what y'all missing um but we're there so you can follow us you can like us you can hate us, you can comment on us, you can listen to us, you can read us. We're there all the time. We're updating the books. The podcasts come out every other week. The blogs go up every week on Thursday or Friday. We are in the building. So, next week, Jay and I go back in the lab, bring you another podcast. It's going to be Black Friday. He's got some ridiculous ideas. I don't know what he's going to have me doing early in the morning, late at night, middle of the night. I don't know. Can I get Thanksgiving dinner? Maybe not. We'll see what Jay's talking about. So you should come back and holler at us, all right?